Hi there. In this short video we will look at the powerful image to PDF options now available in Pixels Imposed versions 4 and above. Image to PDF is a new option within the PDF toolbox. We will begin by selecting multiple images from a single folder. You can optionally choose the output size, enter a custom size or one of those from the drop down list. You can scale down the entire image to fit within the PDF boundaries. Or you can enlarge the image in proportion to fill the entire space. Depending on the size of the image, some of the image may be cropped off in this instance. When scale to fit is selected, all of the image will be reduced in size to fill the maximum area possible of the available space within the selected PDF. The newly generated PDF image file can then be opened within the main window and imposed onto a larger output sheet for print. Border or crop marks can be added as desired. For this example we have added 10mm border marks. With the proof option selected, pages are imposed one after the other. The loop is repeated to fill the final sheet. We will now look at how bleed can be added to each image. In this instance, we will choose the enlarge to fill space option. This will enlarge the image in proportion to completely fill the space available. We will reduce the borders or eliminate the borders completely so that the image will fill the entire PDF. Remember that the image is always enlarged in proportion so parts of the image may be cropped off. We have chosen the good quality you might notice here. There are web, good, high and max quality settings to choose from. As you can see here there is no border. We will now open this file and we will add standard border marks in Pixels Impose main window and we will choose the Grow Art option. This will add a small amount of bleed on each side. Note we have selected the Impose radio button. This is ideal for printing multiple copies of each original image. And when we zoom in you will note that bleed has been added to the photograph. Remember that each photograph is enlarged in proportion. We will show you the same imposition using the proof option where pages are placed side by side from the original artwork. If space remains on the final sheet, the loop will be repeated from the beginning. Note also the quality of the images is superior to the web setting and there are two higher quality options still available. For the final part of this tutorial we will create a contact sheet based on a large selection of images from the selected folder. This will save considerable time when investigating the content of a folder as you will not have to open each image individually. And the small image size is ideal for this type of usage. And the lower quality setting will be sufficient. Note that popular image types, PNG, JPEG, TIFF and even native Photoshop files are supported in both RGB and CMYK formats. As this is merely a contact sheet, we will choose the roll option and a large width. And as mentioned previously, we can now see at a glance the content of this folder. Hopefully you found this tutorial of interest and as always, thank you for watching.